Marcus Hastings James has been a trailblazer in Jamaica's microfinance industry. He's the founder and chief executive officer of Access Financial Services Limited, one of the leading microfinance institutions in the Caribbean. Access holds the distinction of being the first company to list on the junior market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange back in 2009 and the first to float a corporate bond on the junior market of the Stock Exchange in 2013. Let's meet Marcus James, Distinguished Nominee for the Microfinance Leader of the Year Award. Well, Access was launched in September 2000. And you know, with a background in banking and finance, uh, it gave me a good foundation on which to start a, a business like Access. We took our time to ensure that we manage the risk and we manage the portfolio, growing incrementally over time. First branch was here at our head office. We started um, in a room not, not much bigger than, than where we are now. And you know, we just took our time, built a portfolio, built our expertise, added cost as we need to. Um, we added our second branch in St. Thomas. Um, and I remember at that time, I was the, you know, I basically did everything. I was the loan officer, the collections officer, the um, accountant. My parents both were entrepreneurs. So I always had that um, entrepreneurial drive. So I always wanted to, to you know, to eventually get into, get into my own business. Um, I was working at a company called Paymaster as their operations manager. Development Options was providing financing for companies to get into microfinance. And I applied and we got through. And um, it just started from there. When the business started, I left Paymaster and came over to, to be more involved in the business. It was a lot, of, a lot of hard work. We had to do a lot of underground marketing. I remember you know, I'd go into you know, the markets, into different areas to push the products, we'd print flyers, um, we'd advertise in newspapers, and um, focus a lot on customer service and word of mouth was important to get, to get our name out there. But right now our portfolio is about 1.7 billion Jamaican dollars. So it, the growth has been exponential. Customer base of about 20,000 customers now. We have a wide range of clients um, from people who operate you know, a small cart on the street to somebody who has a more established business, um, somebody who operates a small grocery shop. Um, we have people involved in the service industry, manufacturers, people in agriculture. So a very wide cross-section of clients that we serve. It gives me a great sense of accomplishment. Um, to know that you know something that was started basically as a micro business itself has grown to, to, to the point where it provides a lot of support for micro entrepreneurs which I'm sure you know is the foundation for growth of any economy you know micro businesses employ approximately 70 percent of of the labor force so it, it is key it's a key economic driver not only a lot of personal satisfaction, but I know that what we're doing is helping to build the economy and, and put the economy on a stronger footing. So it's important that the micro sector gets the support that it needs to continue to grow. In Jamaica, there's, you know, we get a lot of support from the government to grow um, the sector. And I think that it's important even for the region to do the same so that, you know, we can get economic, more greater economic growth. The results.